Okay, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So, we are in uh, chapter number 3. Eh? Chapter number 3, uh, Moment Distribution Method. So, actually, this is the same uh, the same topic. Uh, the, the same topic is also uh, taught in uh, one of uh, other course, insyaAllah, course structure analysis. Okay, so the learning outcome for uh, this topic uh, at the end of this chapter, you should be able to, number one, formulate member stiffness, distribution factor, carryover factor, uh, and stiffness modification factor. We are going to analyze beam as well as frame. And uh, we have uh, you have to uh, to apply fixed end moment, fixed end moment in order to uh, to establish member end moment, member end moment or internal moment in beam as well as in frame. Okay, and we need to consider also the support settlement whenever we uh, we calculate uh, we calculate fixed end moment, fixed end moment uh, if uh, the information about the support settlement is given in the question. Okay, so this topic basically uh, basically covers beam, uh, beam including uh, including uh, without support settlement and with support settlement, and we have a uh, frame uh, considering no side sway and with side sway. Okay, let's look at the general principle and definition. So this method is actually uh, developed by uh, Hardy Cross in 1930. Uh, this is actually one of the famous uh, method because uh, because uh, it is very easy uh, because the the process uh, using moment distribution method actually uh, we are, uh, is very is the beginner for for design process. Okay, uh, the method begin by assuming uh, each joint of stru uh, structure is fixed. So because we have to apply fixed end moment, so we have to apply uh, all uh, end. Are uh, fixed, then we uh, we will use the form fixed end moment formula. And this fixed end moment formula is actually the first member end moment in the table. We will uh, we will get the 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 uh, what we call as member end moment from moment distribution table. Okay, uh, so the process in the table is actually represent uh, locking, unlocking, and locking each joint. It's join uh, the internal moment at joint distribute and balance until the joint have rotated to their final or nearly uh, or nearly final distribution. So in the table, we will repeat actually the uh, the two main process. Number one is distribution process distribution, and number two is uh, we we carry over the moment. We repeat these two method: uh, distribute, carry over, distribute, carry over until the moment that we get in the tab in the table uh, reaches zero value. Then we can stop. The, the process. Okay, once we stop the process, we will, we will uh, sum all the moment in the table and finally we get the final, the member end moment. Okay, so this is the general, the, the general principle. So as I mentioned, we uh, have to assume, we have to assume that uh, it is fixed uh, at all. It is fixed at all. Okay, it will be found that this process of calculation is both rep uh, repetitive and easy to apply. Before explaining the technique of the moment distribution, however, uh, we have to, uh, of course, you have to understand certain certain term, important term that you need to understand before we uh, start doing analysis. Okay, so basically, a uh, moment distribution method. Please refer to the textbook. Uh, it is under uh, uh, chapter uh, chapter number. 12, if, if I'm not mistaken, please uh, recheck. And that's the topic before before moment distribution method is uh, is called as slope deflection method. Basically, slope slope deflection method and moment distribution method are the two uh, are the two method are the two method which uh which actually uh have the same output. Uh, using slope deflection method, we will calculate member and moment. Using moment distribution method, also we will calculate member and moment. So some basic theory uh, actually uh, that have been discussed under slope deflection method uh, is not yet repeat in the moment distribution method. So you have to uh, read the th some of the theory from moment from slope deflection method. And both of these methods, slope deflection method and moment distribution method, has uh, same sign convention. We uh, refer to the Hebler textbook. So we we uh, we consider clockwise moment that act on the member. Act on the member are considered positive. So uh, in other way round, counterclockwise moment are negative. 
Okay, so this is the example of uh, calculating fixed end moment, fixed end moment by assuming that both end are fixed. Okay, by assuming that both end of it, this, this is fixed, this is also fixed. So the moment will counter back, the moment will, be, will counter back because due to loading, this is uh, loading, due to loading, the beam will bend. The beam will bend, so fixed end moment is actually behavior. It is just, it is not only sign convention, but it behavior. This is fixed end moment. So uh, due to the bend beam, so we have to apply moment in this direction at B and in this direction at A. At A, so that is actually fixed end moment. So from this, from these two uh, moment direction that we get, the behavior that we get uh, from from a fixed end moment, uh, this 800 newton, when we apply at the uh, at the center or at uh, or on the member of the beam, so it will deflect and the moment will counter back, counter back. So we get like this. Okay, uh, the the moment, the fixed end fixed end moment and we will get we will get because we have to compare with sign convention remember sign convention is counter clockwise positive counter clockwise positive so that is why we get mab negative and mab mba positive because mab mab this one opposite with opposite with sign convention sign convention is clockwise this is anti clockwise this is opposite so that is why we have to put negative so MBA clockwise, uh, sign conversion also clockwise. So that is why we get positive uh, MBA, positive MBA. So all this uh, fixed end moment formula will be given in, in your final exam, in test and final exam as well. So this, uh, uh, the, the formula fixed end moment, you can find this in the textbook as well. So uh, we normally refer to this, the formula given in the final exam, re uh, referring to this one, fixed end moment. So uh, in, in the textbook, there are there are two conditions. One is called as far end fixed. One is called, called as far end roller. This is far end roller. Far end roller. And this one is called as far end fixed. Far end fixed. So the formula that, that will be given in final exam will be basically uh, based on far and fixed condition. Far and fixed condition. So there are some here, P at the center, P not at the center, uh, P, uh, there are two P here, there are three P, UDL, uh, UDL, uh, triangular load, okay? Uh, so all these are actually loading that is subjected on the member, on the member, not at joint, not at A, not at B. So we calculate fixed end moment. We calculate fixed end moment whenever there is uh, there is loading loading subjected on member, not at A, not at B. If if the loading is subjected directly at nodes, directly at A, directly directly at B, we don't calculate fixed end moment. We fixed end moment is to distribute moment to the nodes, distribute moment to the joint. Okay. So all this due to loading, and we have. Last one, last one, this, last one, this is actually fixed end moment due to delta. Fixed end moment due to delta, due to delta, deflection, delta, support settlement. Okay, uh, for beam, we, we consider this as support settlement. And for frame, for frame, this is actually formula to calculate, uh, to calculate fixed end moment for side sway frame, side sway frame. There, uh, there is only one formula. To, uh, to be remember and doesn't matter this is also given in final exam okay so that is about fixed end moment and then in order to uh, to distribute moment we have to understand about uh, member stiffness factor member stiffness factor I believe you have understand about uh, understand or uh, you have have heard about the, the word stiffness okay because last uh, in last chapter we have the topic name stiffness method so now we still deal with uh, the word stiffness so but we don't calculate uh, in matrix form again but uh, we use stiffness factor to distribute moment we use stiffness factor to distribute moment so we have formula to calculate member stiffness factor so this is the one of the formula k uh, the symbol uh, the symbol for stiffness is always k the symbol for stiffness is always k so for for moment distribution method we just 
calculate single value. We just calculate single value, uh, not metrics anymore, single value. So we have uh, we have two. We normally we, we use two condition. Normally we use two condition. It is K, K uh, for EI over L. For EI over L, we use for far and fix. Far and fix. Far and fix. Okay, far and fix. And we have another one. It is 3 EI over L. We use for far and roller or far and pin. So we have to, to remember these two, these two difference because we we use these two every time we want to distribute moment. Okay, for far and fix, it is 4 EI over L. And uh, for far and roller pin, it is 3 EI over L. Okay, so we focus on the first one first, 4 EI over L. And always remember that internal also fix. Internal also fix. If, if we have A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D like this, A, A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D, loading for example. So we have A, B, we have B, A, we have C, D. Internal also fixed. Internal also fixed. That is why we can apply this to all type of uh, uh, problem. Okay. Um, we normally look in uh, look at the end condition. Now is referring to A and D. That is why the the term is called as far end, far end fixed, far end roller. Because if we have, for example, this one. Fix roller, roller, roller. What happen is, what happen is we have fix, 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 and fix roller. So far and roller, we refer to this one. This is far and roller. And far and fix, we're referring to this. Okay, far and fix, far and roller. This is the two, uh, the two condition whenever we calculate stiffness stiffness for the member stiffness for the member okay okay this is for 3 ei over l as i mentioned and beside member stiffness member stiffness okay once we have calculated Member stiffness, we have to we have to find distribution factor because we want to distribute moment. And to calculate distribution factor, to calculate distribution factor, we have we have to have uh, we have to use stiffness, member stiffness and joint stiffness. Member stiffness and joint stiffness. Okay, joint stiffness means we have to combine. Joint stiffness means we have to combine. For example, we refer to joint A. We refer to joint A. So the joint stiffness for A, joint stiffness for A is combination of KAD, KAB and KAC. We combine this 1,000, 4,000 and 5,000 to find the total stiffness. Okay, to find the total stiffness. And once we have, we have understand this, we have uh, to calculate actually the distribution factor, distribution factor. So distribution factor, what, what it is, we use this. We use this whenever we distribute moment. And moment that we distribute is join moment. Moment that we distribute is join moment. That is why we have to have member stiffness and joint stiffness. And then we have to calculate distribution factor. We, we distribute moment. We distribute moment at join. We distribute moment at join. So... We will focus on this distribution factor is K divided by total K. K divided by total K. This one. K divided by total K. So K, the upper K refers to member stiffness. And the lower K refers to joint stiffness or total stiffness. Total stiffness at joint. Total stiffness at joint. At joint. Total stiffness at joint. Total stiffness at joint. Okay. So like this. So we have to, to concentrate on the joint stiffness. The joint stiffness. That is why we only calculate distribution factor at joint A. So A, we have A, B. 
we have AC, we have AD, AB, AC, AD, and combination of this distribution factor must equal to one. Total distribution factor at join must equal to one, must equal to one. And then when we, when we have join moment, this 2000 join moment that is subjected at join, that is subjected at join, or we can also get join moment from, from, from uh, fixed end moment, from fixed end moment, whenever member has loading on the member, we calculate, we calculate fixed end moment. We calculate fixed end moment and fixed end moment is actually we distribute moment to join. We distribute moment to join. So combination of fixed end moment produce total join moment as well. Join a uh, join moment as well. So we will get the moment moment MAB, moment MAC, moment MAD by okay by by uh times times factor distribution factor and join moment distribution factor and join moment okay so that is why we get this value and always remember when we distribute when we distribute we get opposite we get opposite we get opposite so finally all this when we plus back it will be equal to zero it will be equal to zero because uh, always remember when we analyze structure, the structure must be in equilibrium internally and externally. Join is internal, okay? Internal. So join must must be uh, the moment at join must equal to zero. The moment at join must equal to zero, okay? So do we want to ask any question? Do you want to ask any question? This is just the concept first before we look into the uh, the example. Can you follow uh, about the stiffness factor, the joint stiffness factor, member stiffness, joint stiffness, sign convention, distribution factor? Is it okay? Okay, madam. So far, okay. that the question. Okay. So, so always remember distribution factor is very, very important because if you calculate wrong distribution factor, of course, you will get wrong uh, wrong moment, wrong internal moment of uh, or member and moment because the moment that we get from the table is actually the bending moment. So we can draw the bending moment diagram directly after we, we finish the table. We finish the process in the table. Okay, so... Uh, previ previously, just now, I, I said uh, that there are two uh, main steps in the table. Number one, we distribute moment. We distribute moment. Always remember the concept I explained just now. The moment that we distribute is joint moment. The moment that we distribute is joint moment. So how to get this? We have to. Uh, how to? Uh, uh, how we have to? We have to uh, get joint moment, and we have to time with distribution factor. Join moment times with distribution factor. Okay, and then uh then then and then we have to distribute. Okay, and then we move to the next step in the table. Next step in the table that is called carry over. Carry over. Distribute, carry over. Repeat, distribute, carry over. Repeat, distribute, carry over. So uh in in this uh carry over step, we have to consider the factor. The factor. So carry over, carry over factor. There are two. Considering for n condition as well, for n fixed, for n roller. Just now I, I have mentioned uh, to you if we have this, if we have this, okay, and this. What's the difference? Okay, these two. You have to understand. Okay, so a one is a one is b. Okay, A, we will have, this one is AB, this one is BC, this one is CD. So all AB, BC, and CD, AB, BC, and CD, all will be using, will be, will be, will be using formula considering 
considering for and fix. For and fix. For and fix. Okay. But B diagram. B diagram. So we have A, B. We have B, C. And we have C, D. So A, B and B, C. A, B and B, C. A, B and B, C. Far and fix. Far and fix. But C, D. C, D. We have to use formula. Far and. Far and ro roller. Far and roller. Okay. Because the factor, the carryover factor, we have two value, two value, which is 0 0.5 and 0, which is 0 0.5 and 0. For far and fix, far and fix, far and fix, why we call far and only? Why we don't call both and fix? Because one is always internal. One is always internal, so we have to refer to another one. Okay, so it is far and fixed. The formula, or not the formula, the value, the carryover factor is 0 0.5. 0 0.5, this is the value. This is the value. Uh, 0 0.5, 0 0.5, we have to divide by 2. Okay, and another value is 0. Point, uh, it is 0 for far and roller. Far and roller is 0, 0. Far and fix is 0 0.5. Wait a moment. Okay, so let's look at the procedure. The procedure. Okay, we have to calculate fixed end moment, fixed end moment, distribution factor. Uh, for n fix zero, uh, zero n fix is zero, n fix is zero. Distribution factor for n roller is one. Df is one for join. Df is one for join. Okay. Uh, except, except fix, except fix, except fix. Okay, because fix n fix n is is means that that is. There is not the end of structure. Because for the formula, we have to divide by infinity. I will explain to you later. Okay. The FEM, the FEN fixed end moment, we calculate using table. We have to put into the moment distribution table as the first moment, uh, the first moment in the table. And we use this table to distribute moment. Okay. The process, we have to unlock lock and unlock okay we have to uh, find uh, distribute moment times with the factor and then we have to times with the next cycle is uh, we use carry over factor we have to times with the factor okay example one so please refer to uh, to the textbook as well uh, under chapter uh, number 12 under chapter number 12 uh, Example 12.1. Okay. So always remember slope deflection method, moment distribution method. Okay, these two methods basically Okay, uh, calculating the same output, calculating the same goal. Okay, we will calculate what we call as member and moment. Member and moment. It is also called as internal moment. And it is also same with bending moment. Bending moment in beam, bending moment in frame. Okay, internal moment, fixed and moment, uh, sorry, member and moment. Not fixed and moment, eh? um, internal moment, member and moment, member and moment. Okay, these two are the same. Okay, the term are different, and this is also equivalent to bending moment. 
pending moment. So that is why from the table we can uh, we can uh, directly draw the pending moment diagram by using the output that we get from the table. Okay, so this is a beam, a continuous beam. This is indeterminate beam. This beam uh, has a, B, C, D, eh? A, B, C, D for, for, for join. Okay, for join, A and D are fixed. A and D are fixed. And uh, it has roller at B and C. B and C. So, B, B, C, member B, C is subjected to U, D, L. Member B, C is subjected to U, D, L. And member C, D is subjected to point load at the center. Point load at the center. So, so UDL on member BC and point load at the center, okay, will be calculating considering fixed end moment. Fixed end moment. There is no, uh, there is no point load or loading subjected directly at nodes. So all loadings are subjected on member. So when we have that, we have to distribute moment to the join okay and when when we distribute moment uh, when we calculate uh, calculate uh, this for first first time so it is actually fixed and moment okay but the first step is the first step is of course we have to have we have to consider we have to calculate k we have to calculate k K, we have three member. We have KAB, we have KBC, we have KCD. We have three K. KAB, KBC, KCD. We have three element. AB, BC, and CD. Okay, this is member stiffness. Member stiffness. And by looking at the support, by looking at the support, all these three member will use which one? Three or four EI over L. We have two formula. It is four EI over L and three EI over L. So which one to be used here? Four which EI one? over L. Yes, we use four EI over L. We don't need to use three EI over L. We use all the four EI over L. Four EI over L. Okay, so what we get is it is four, uh, four EI over 12. Okay, this one is 4 EI over 12. 4 EI over 12. Okay, and then 4 EI over 12 again. And then CD is 4 EI over 8. 4 EI over L. Okay, because once we have this, then only we can calculate distribution factor. So the first step is we have to calculate member uh, member stiffness member stiffness okay how many join here okay we have four join we have four join and uh, when we calculate distribution factor because this is fixed this is fixed distribution factor for fixed will be zero distribution factor for for a distribution factor for d will be zero so distribution factor for B is actually combination of combination of combination of D F D F B A B A plus D F B C at B B okay at B we have we have B A we have B C and for distribution factor at C, and this total total of this must equal to one, and distribution factor at C, distribution factor at C, okay, must equal to one. Okay, must total must equal to one, and this is actually combination of DF, DFCB, and DFCD. Do you get that? Do you get that? Yes, okay. 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 So DFBA, DFBA, DFBA is actually we use uh, BA and AB here uh, is the same, so we can use this. 
Okay, KAB, KBA is the same thing. KAB, KBA is the same thing because stiffness is stiffness. We are talking about member stiffness. So, so it is the same with KAB and KBA. Okay, so let's look at the solution given here. Okay. Okay, for, far, uh, for, for member stiffness, we use far and fix. And for the formula, we uh, for the DF formula, it is K over, over total K. Total K means joint stiffness. Joint stiffness. So DF AB and DF uh, CD zero here is zero. Zero because this is fixed. Only fixed, the uh, DF equal to zero, only fixed. And then we have to continue calculate uh, DFBA, DF, DFBA, DFBC, DFCB, DFCD. Okay, number of DF, number of DF is actually equal equal to number of N moment in the system, number of distribution factor. So we have six distribution factor to be determined to be used. Six distribution factor. How we determine that? Okay, by, okay, this is the beam. So we have roller, roller like this. Okay, we have UDL here. We have point load. We have A, A, B, C, and D. Okay, we roll like this. One by one element. One by one element. So this will be member A. Uh, this will be AB, member AB. Second one will be BC. Third one will be CD. Okay. So we have three members. We have three members and, and each member has two N. Each member has two N. AB, we have NA, we have NB. That is for AB. And then we have member BC. We have member BC. Member BC, we have NB, we have NC. And for member CD, we have NC, we have ND. So we are going to calculate, we are going to calculate six member and moment. Six member and moment. That is why distribution factor, we have six value. Okay, that is why distribution factor, we have six value. So yang ni, this one. M A B. This is M B A. This is M M B C. This is M C B. This is M C D, and this is M D C. Okay, six. Member and moment. We have three members. We have three members. Each member has two N. So we have in total six member and moment. Okay, any question? I do it. Okay, I hope you clear about this. This is very, very important. So, so this is the moment, the six, the six member and moment that we will determine. Member and moment. But mark what I said previously. Okay, we distribute joint moment. We distribute joint moment, not member and moment. Okay, we distribute joint moment. This is member and moment. This is member and moment. So beside this, we have we have joint B here, we have joint C here, we have A here, and we have D here. This is joint A. This is join B, this is join C, this is join D. And we distribute, we distribute join moment. We distribute join moment. 
we distribute join moment. We distribute join moment. We want to calculate member and moment in the process. In the process, the moment that we distribute in the table is join moment. And join moment, join moment is opposite with member and moment. Okay, always remember this join moment, moment. Join moment opposite with member and moment. I believe you have learned this in diploma. Okay, so you just need to recall back what you have learned previously. Okay, uh, in the table, if you can recall in the table, there is one step under distribution where you have to change sign where you have to change sign distribute moment you find the total moment times distribution factor and you change sign so the change sign means opposite because the moment that we distribute is not member and moment but the joint moment which is opposite with member and moment that is the process behind the table okay so after we have determined distribution factor of course we have to start with calculating fixed and moment fixed and moment is <clears throat> means that we distribute moment to join we distribute moment to join anyway anyway the moment that we distribute is opposite with this sign Okay, so the fixed end moment we calculate uh, by looking at the behavior occur due to loading behavior. So it uh, it is going to be like this because of the behavior, because of the W that is subjected on the member. Okay, because the, the beam uh, bend and we will, we will apply force, okay, to counter back. So that is why we get in this direction. And when we put the value, the value okay when we put the value we have to consider the we have to compare with the sign convention we have to to put negative representing the behavior we have to put positive representing the behavior okay don't put wrong behavior you have to put the right the right behavior okay so fembc one is negative uh, for fem for bc if you for member BC, one is negative, one is positive because of the behavior. Okay, so we will get FEM BC negative because this one is opposite with sign convention and we use this positive. Okay, for, for BA, for that is not B, uh, the, the label here is not correct, so it should be B and C, eh? B and C. Okay, FEM CB will be positive because the, the behavior the behavior okay same same sign uh, same, same uh, direction with sign convention so that is why we get one negative 240 and another one is 240 okay same thing goes to member uh same thing goes to member cd okay look at this as member cd same thing goes to this so because of the behavior we get in, in this direction to counter back, to counter back, to make the beam move back to its original position, to push back. Okay, so we have we have one negative, one positive, because we have to remain the behavior. So this four value we have to put in the table. So in the table, in the table, since I have explained to you that we have six member and moment. Six member on moment, so we have to list all six: A, B, B, A, B, C, C, B, C, D, D, C. We have four join, four join A and D. Fix B and C internal, okay? Internal join, okay? It is a roller, a roller at B and roller at C. So distribution factor we calculate using formula. We get we get uh, like this. So total this equal to 1, total this equal to 1. Okay, 
go to one. Uh, just remember distribution factor is is always equivalent to one. Distribution factor at join is always equivalent to one except fix. Except fix because this is fixed. That is why we get zero. Because this is fixed, that is why the FAB is equal to zero. Total total uh, uh, total b b b a plus b c so total equal to one but we have we have two uh, we have two uh, member right uh, two 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 labels one for b a one for b c so the total of these two equivalent to one okay so we put this emission fact sorry saya mengganggu ah terima kasih yeah. i already assess uh, uh, doctor, okay, terima kasih. Okay. Doctor can proceed yeah with class. Okay, okay. Assalamualaikum. Okay. okay, okay. Okay, so distribution factor ni, this one you have to always remember fix for n fix is it, it is equal equivalent to one uh, equivalent to zero fix n because fix n is not the end of the structure. Roller N is the end of the structure. Pin N is end of the structure. Cantilever N is end of the structure, but not fixed N. Fixed N is not the end of the structure. So when we calculate distribution factor, for example, for, for A, B, so this will be equal to K, A, B, divided by K, A, B plus infinity plus infinity that is why it is equal to zero that is why it's equal to zero because we when we build structure structure to building building have many nodes many elements okay so when we analyze we take we take out some element and we do analysis uh, so that is why that is why uh for n pin n fix for n fix the distribution factor is equal to zero. Okay, so we continue. Uh, okay, the process inside the table has been explained uh, quite clear using uh, the the video that I, I have sent to you yesterday. Uh, not my video, the two video, part one and part two. Look at the process uh, in distributing moment. Okay. So basically, uh, the first value that we have to put into the table is, of course, the distribution factor. Uh, the, the first thing is distribution factor. And that is, that is only the factor, not the moment. The factor only. And the first moment in the table we get from fixed end moment. The first moment in the table we get from fixed end moment. I continue until the end of this question. Okay, until the end of this question, and until we analyze, uh, until the last, the last step. So after this, you can watch the recording, uh, all the recording I have given to you. Okay, fix end moment, fix end moment. So we have list all six. We have list list all six. So we have put one, two, three, four, four value at position B C C B C D D C. Okay, A B B A. Since there is no fix end moment value, leave. Uh, leave as blank. Okay, you don't need to put zero value in the table. You just need to put, except for the F, lah, the F, please, please put all, including zero. But for the moment, do not put zero in the table. So zero moment, just leave it, leave it blank. Okay, we just put the value. We just put the value, except zero. Okay, so... This is the first distribution. This is the first distribution, first distribution, second distribution, third distribution, fourth distribution, five distribution. Normally, five times or six times. There you will get value reaches zero. Okay, so process nak buat tu, uh, process how to, how to distribute. So please look at the video, my video as well. Okay, so one thing that I want to highlight uh, here is, okay, 
fixed end moment is the first member end moment in the table, but we distribute joint moment. Yang ni kena betul-betul try to understand. Fixed end moment, fixed end moment is the first, the first member end moment in the table. And we distribute joint moment which is opposite with member and moment. Okay, that is why when we distribute, we get this positive, we get this positive. From where it comes, it is actually like this. Okay, when we calculate fixed end moment, this is AB, this is BC. Okay, UDL here. And we get this as 240. We get this as 240 as well. But don't forget, in between these two members are the joint. Sini dia punya joint. And we distribute joint moment. And joint moment is opposite with member and moment. So the joint moment actually is 240 which is opposite with negative 240. Okay, so the moment that we distribute is this. Okay, that is why, that is why we get positive 120. The factor, the, the, uh, the distribution factor is 0 0.5. 0 0.5. So it is this, this negative, uh, this, Positive 240 times 0 0.5. That is why we get 120. Positive. And all, all the value under distribution, under distribution, always opposite with the previous value. Only distribution. Eh? Carry over, remain. Carry over, remain the sign. Carry over, remain the sign. Only at distribution, all value opposite with the value, uh, opposite with the previous value that we used to calculate uh, the, the value, the next value. Okay, so money. Okay, this is negative. Opposite is to 240. So this 240 yang kita distribute times with 0 0.5, that's why we get 120, 120. Okay, same goes to this. By looking at this, we get negative 10. But the moment that we distribute, not, not negative 10, it is positive 10. Positive 10, we distribute. So that is why we get 4 and 6. So that total this, we get 0. Total 0. Total 0. Okay. And then we have to carry uh, carry over. So look at how we carry over the value. Carry over, carry over, carry over. We carry over the value to opposite join. Silang. Okay, silang pangkah. Okay, we carry over the value. Okay, it must cross boundary. It must cross boundary, B to A, A to B, C to D, D to C, it must cross boundary. And then we repeat the process again and again until the last distribution. Okay, don't stop at carry over, please stop at distribution. Stop at distribution, so once the value reaches 0, 0 0.0, you may stop the process. Then total, all the moment in the table start from fixed end moment, which is the first, the first moment in the table. Okay, fine. Uh, sum all this, sum all this, then we get this as member and moment or internal moment or bending moment for the beam. Okay. For the beam. And by using all this, we can draw the bending moment diagram directly. And it is very easy. 
It is very easy once we have reached this step. It is very easy. Okay. Where is it? Okay, once you get the moment, moment, the final moment, the member end moment, the summation eh, for from the table. Okay, okay, this do one, this one, this one. Okay. Ni? Six member and moment. Okay, to draw the bending moment diagram. So sorry, saya mau batuk since two days ago. Okay. To draw the bending moment diagram from the moment that we get from the table is very easy. Okay. Number one, you can do like this. Number one, okay. We draw, we, we sketch the, the moment direction for each of the member. This one is positive. This one is positive. Positive. Okay, next, negative. Negative, draw negative moment. Negative, draw negative moment. Positive, draw positive moment. Positive. Then negative again, draw negative and positive. Okay. Number one, step number one. Okay, now move to diagram. Okay, we draw one by one. Separately doesn't matter. And follow all this sign, uh, moment sign. Follow, follow all this moment sign. Means that we have clockwise, clockwise for AB. We have clockwise clockwise for ab and then we have a counter clockwise and clockwise counter clockwise and clockwise and then we have counter clockwise and clockwise counter clockwise and clockwise okay what does it mean What does it mean? <clears throat> Means that this is the point. This is the point. This is the point. This is the point. Okay, what is the value? The value from the table, 62.5. 62.5. One two five point two, one two five point two, two eight two eight one point five, two eight one point five, two eight one point five, and two three four point three, two three four point three. Okay, here is UDL. Here is point load. Okay. To get the salient point or the accurate point, we have to have the shear force diagram for BC and for CD. To get the accurate shape, accurate, accurate point. But doesn't matter, you can just sketch, okay, based on your understanding about UDL when we when we uh, draw uh, bending moment diagram and Point load, what happened to the bending moment diagram. Okay, so this is actually the bending moment diagram. Okay, so this is positive, negative, negative, positive, negative, negative, positive, negative. Okay. That's all. So this is all about beam analysis using moment distribution method, considering external loading. Considering external loading. Considering external loading means we calculate FEM, FEM using formula, which will be based on the loading that is given on the member. Okay, so this is all about beam analysis 
okay, uh, considering external loading. And don't forget, we have also the support settlement effect in BIM, which we can consider when the, the information is given. So we have to, when we have to consider the support settlement, of course, we will use the fixed and moment formula due to delta, the, the, the last formula given in appendix. Okay, we just need to, to plus. Okay, to plus the fixed end moment. So we have we have two fixed end moment type. One is external loading, one is one is external loading, one is delta. Delta. Fixed end moment due to external loading, fixed end moment due to delta. Okay, when there is no delta, there is no support settlement, we only consider one. Okay. Uh, we have to consider number one only. But when 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 the settlement is given, we have to consider both. We have to consider both. We have to consider both. We have to consider FEM due to external loading and FEM due to delta. Okay. Okay. So I want you after this, please uh, continue to do access uh, activity. So activity representing your 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 pre, uh, present, your attendance. Okay, so by today, I will give to you one uh, BIM question, one BIM, BIM question, and don't don't forget to watch uh, my lecture video uh, explaining about, about FEM. Uh, there, there is example uh, about, about support settlement, calculating using moment distribution method. Okay, so this week we will focus on uh, BIM. So uh, another another one hour class, another one hour class. We will we will uh, today today to, for today class. You have to do activity regarding this, and for for another session another session we 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 uh, we have activity. Okay, uh, activity considering considering support settlement as well. Okay, so that next week we will move to. Uh, moment, moment distribution method to uh, for frame, for frame because frame has uh, has sides wave frame, which uh, the analysis is quite uh, complicated compared to uh, compared to beam, especially uh, for sides wave frame analysis. FEM due to due to sides wave. Okay, so that's all for this session. If you want to. Ask any question, please come to see me. I'm in my room, okay, in front of seminar room. So thank you very much. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, Doctor. Assalamualaikum. Thank you, Doctor.